What's up guys? Since the start of SEO, search engine optimization, there's always been the notion that content is king. And that's 100% right, content is king. But there hasn't always been a way to measure what king-like content is. So we created a tool that allows you to do just that. Now we're gonna show you in a few simple steps exactly how we do that. So to start off with, all you need to know is which keyword is it that I want to rank for in Google. So say for example, I want to rank for the keyword Robin Hood story. So I enter that here and then I click on generate report and you're going to see that we get scrolled down a little bit here and you're going to see that the status for this specific report right now is under running. And the reason that it's set at that is because we're, our crawlers are right now out on Google and checking out our top competition for the keyword Robin Hood story. And we're looking at their content and running it through our AI powered algorithm. And the outcome of this will be a report that will give you information about all the words that you need to input into your content to have a chance to rank for this specific keyword. Let's fast forward to that for a second. So now our report is generated. You can see that the status has changed to completed and we can click on show details. On this view, you can see an overview of our report card. So for example, you can see information that our average word count of our competitors is about 4,000 words. And immediately I can see that that's a bit distorted by the number one ranking uh, website here at 10,000 keywords, but that's fine. With this overview, I have that information now. Then I can also see that our suggested content grade is a 10 out of 10. And the reason that it's so high is because when I look at our competition here, they have very good content themselves which is something to be expected when the keyword is Robin Hood story, right? And then the question is based off of what is this a 10 out of 10? Well, it's based off of this, the terms. So we're looking at which of these terms are used in their content and how frequently. And as you can see, not all terms weigh the same. Some words are way more important, like for example, Sherwood Forest, uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, Little John and so on. And as you scroll down, they get less and less important. Not to say that they're not important, but the ones at the top are the most important to have in your content. And the more of these you can squeeze in in your content in one way or another, the more Google will realize that you're writing something that's on this specific topic. So now let's click on optimize to actually start writing our content. So this is the single most important view in this application. And this is where you're going to spend 90% of your time actually writing your content. So let's take a look at some of the features that we have here. To start off with, on the right hand side here, you can see the same list of terms that we were looking at in our previous view. And just like in our previous view, you can see that they are ordered by importance by default, meaning that Sherwood Forest, which has an important score out of 10 out of 10, is at the very top here, Sheriff of Nottingham has a nine out of 10, and then it goes in descending order, right? Another interesting feature to see here is that you see that some of these terms have an H next to them. And when you hover this H, you can get information about how often this specific term was seen in our competitors' H tags. So you can see on two occasions, it was seen in an H1 tag, at one occasion on an H2 tag, and on five different occasions, it was seen in an H3 tag. But wait, there's more. If I click on this term, I get even more information about it. So for example, I can get information that our competitors on average use this term four times in their content. So not just once. And then I can click on show examples to see exactly how they use it. So at the top here, I can see how they use it in the H tags. And at the bottom, I can see how they use it in the regular content. And not just that, I can actually see where this comes from. For example, this H1 tag, I can click on this link and go to the actual website where it was fetched. And as we go there, you see there's the H1 tag that we're talking about. And let's go back to our own system now. Let's close that down. So now I'm gonna paste some content into our editor here just to show you how our application works. And I'm taking this content primarily from Wikipedia. And immediately you can see that the beauty of this system is that it automatically recognizes the terms from the right hand side and highlights them in our content because they are used 
earlier we talked about the term Sherwood Forest and as you can see as we wrote it here it automatically got highlighted and we can even click on it to get that same information as from the right hand side you can see the important score the average amount of uses amongst our competitors and a third one that's really interesting it says current uses and this is the amount of time that we've used it in our own content so if we look at it on the right hand side here you see that Sherwood Forest is already struck because we've used it in our content but it's still marked with a yellow light. And the reason for that is because our competitors usually use this term between two to eight times while we only use it once. On the other hand, a term like Sheriff of Nottingham is typically used between two to three times by our, by our competitors and we use it two times. And for that reason, we have a green light on this. Isn't that amazing? And then at the top here, we can see that our current content grade is a 6 out of 10. And that's purely based off of how many of the terms on the right hand side are actually seen in our content. And like we mentioned earlier, the suggested grade for this specific report, which is Robin and Story, is a 10 out of 10 because there's a lot of competition for this. And then another algorithm tells us that the content that we have written is at a level that is fairly difficult to read. And the typical level for our competition is at a level that is standard, so a bit easier to read. So maybe we should think about easing the complexity of our content. And then the final one here says uh, word count, which is exactly as it sounds, the amount of words that we've written in our content and an evaluation of how much our competition writes, right? So pretty straightforward, these three, three tabs. And now I want to show you a feature that I'm really excited about, and it's under the Inspiration tab. So if I click on that, I see a list of keywords that I know that people Google, right? So even though our content is primarily oriented to be able to rank for the keyword Robin and Story, there's no reason why we can't have a long tail for this. So some other keywords that we also rank for. So we know, for example, that a lot of people Google, how does the story of Robin Hood end? So a smart way to use this inspiration tab is to actually copy questions from this list and answer them in your content. So for example, if I just copy this, paste it into my content, let's use a big H, and then actually use this as an H tag in my content. So it's not an H1 probably because that's up there, but it might be an H2 or an H3. I make an H tag of this and then I simply just write content in here that I know is relevant to answer this question and it will give me a chance to rank for not just my primary keyword but also my long tail keywords. Pretty neat, huh? And last but not least, at the bottom left corner, you can see a button that says add meta tags. And if I click on this, I can add a title tag and a meta description tag that goes along with my article. So this is basically the idea that you have everything in one place before you need to paste it to your actual website. And then the question is, why did we create a tool like this? Well, the people behind Robin Eyes have well over a decade of experience in either SEO or web development, or in my case, both. You can see my video on YouTube where I explain how I created a website in six weeks has generated over $100,000 in income with the help of good SEO tactics. And you can also see my video, 12 years of SEO experience in under five minutes. With that said, we were looking for an SEO content optimization tool for ourselves. And when we looked at the market, on the one hand side, we found all of these tools that were very affordable, but that unfortunately weren't that good and I don't want to name them. And on the other side of the spectrum, we found some really good tools like Market News, ClearScope, Topic, and so on. The problem for us with these tools is that they're just far too expensive. So we set out on a mission to create the next great content optimization tool. The idea is that both the very well-established SEO agency can use it, but also the newcomer to the content writing world that's perhaps just starting to make his first few dollars off of Fiverr.com, they would be able to afford it as well. So we want to combine quality with affordability. And the result of all of this was Robin Eyes, the Robin Hood of SEO content optimization tools.